All right, so this is just an updated video. I've had quite a few questions on posting, pop up on the videos often. I'm probably not gonna answer all of them. This is just an update because some of our stuff has been discontinued. So I still use the powder. It's easier if you put it in a container because then you can just dip the post instead of having to squeeze it and get it all over the place. I've been using this glue um, instead of Osteobond. You can also use Torbitz. Torbitz works fine, but this is just the one I've been using. Now this is New Hope Cat number 2400. Uh, this one, if you're going to use it, you really should have something like Unisolve um, to remove the glue because it is sticky and you don't want to, you know, hurt the skin. It's also why I still recommend keeping your posts in six to seven days before you remove them so that, that glue has time to basically come loose. Um, so yeah. And then we all know Zona's got discontinued. They are bringing it back. You can't find the one inch Zona's anymore. You can, however, buy one and a half inch Zona's. Do that. Don't go use different tape. This works. Just get the one and a half inch Zona's. It's not that much different. Common sense will just tell you you're going to use less of it. And then I'm also doing this with cotton balls this time because sometimes people just can't find the square ones or they can only find the round ones or they can only find cotton balls. So I'm going to use this as an example just so that you guys can see that you can, like, you can make do with what you can find. You can make this work. So, um, and then I had some questions about ear sores that I'll address here too. And we'll go, and like, if you have, you know, a tip that's hurt or something like that. So we'll work on that. So anyway, so I already made this one. And then I'm going to make this other one. So as you can see, I uh, I just stuck the cotton ball on there. So I use, for a puppy, I take one cotton ball, I break it in half. One is going to be too thick to push into the ear. And then I put half of it on there. So um, I'm going to ask Shauna to hold this for a second. I'll show you guys how I do this. Okay, so with the post... You already have everything folded over like you normally would when you fold this over. You remember sticky to sticky to sticky, so sticky side is out here. I leave a little bit below the zip tie so there's more padding. And then you're literally just going to take half of this cotton ball and you're just going to shove it on there. And you're just going to make sure there's plenty of padding on the bottom here. And like before, you're going to take half of a piece of Zona's and you're just going to wrap it around the outside, making sure that you catch the cotton ball um, and just holding it on there. So. This way you still have good padding and it's nice thick padding and that's what you're looking for. Remember with a puppy, if you're using the squares, you wanna cut off one of the little ribs and, and if all you can find is the round flats, use it. You're gonna use the whole thing, you're gonna fold it over, just make it work. You guys can figure it out, I believe in you. Now the other thing is normally you use, I, you can make, I suggest that you use four or five strips of Zonas. With the one and a half inch thick, you're not gonna need four or five, you're only gonna need three. Um, maybe four if you have a really tall crop, but probably just three. But anyway, so we are going to go from here. I'm going to put some glue on this real quick. So this glue comes with a little ball. And you're just going to, like before, put it right on the zip tie. This stuff can be a little bit messier, so just watch it. Be gentle when you're putting it on there. You don't need to go crazy. You don't need a lot. You just need enough for the post to not shift around in the ear. That's what you're looking for here. The whole point of the glue is just to keep that post from shifting. Because if that post is shifting around in the ear, then the ear is moving and you're breaking down whatever cartilage you're building up. And like always, don't leave the post off for longer than it takes for the ears to dry when they're this young. Okay, you wanna grab our model. And then I'll usually wave these around a little bit just to kind of get that glue to dry up a little bit and tack up. And then I have my strips pre-done. <laughs> Hi, Nix. So you guys will see from her having a cup on before, some of the back of the ear hair is off. It grows back. Don't freak out. Hi, Nixie. <laughs> All righty. We're going to lay her down. Good girl. Maybe. Like, not this again. I'll give you this. So not on the counter, people. Not supposed to be up here. All right, ma'am. Let's twist that hip. No. Let's twist that hip. She's Lay a, down. She's okay. A, uh -uh. Good girl. Terror nightmares. Terror nightmares. Good girl. So then like before, you're just going to take your post and dip it in the gold bond powder. Because it's just to help with moisture so you don't get any sort of infections or rubbish. Now, 
I had some people ask about sores in the base of the ear. If you're getting sores in the base of the ear, it's because you're not pushing this post down there deep enough for it to keep from rubbing. So when you're gonna put this in here, you are just gonna take the post, I know this is hard to see, and make sure that it's in the bell, and you are just gonna push down on it. You're not, you cannot push this into her brain, just, or his brain. Just push it down there as deep as you can. Now this post's a little tall, but that's fine, it's not a big deal. But you're just gonna push it down as deep as you can. Hi, Nixie. And then you're gonna pull this ear up as tight as possible, pull on it, stretch it, and put it against the ear, because you want everything to be nice and tight. And then you're just gonna put this over the top like, you, like we've done before. Now, if for some reason anything happened and you have a sore somewhere on this top region of the post, what you are gonna do is you're not gonna do the last piece of tape around the top. So you're gonna put this over it like this, and then like normal, <laughs> you're gonna tape you're being a bad model, kid. You're gonna tape this as low as you can, pull up on the ear, and take this bottom piece all the way around like you would before, nice and loose, and then just put it together. And then you're gonna take the next piece, you're gonna layer it a little bit over each other, <laughs> and then you're gonna do this. At this point, your tape is wide enough that you should be covering the tape that came over the back. So if there's a sore up here on the tip somewhere, don't put another piece around it that way. Just leave it like this. So this way when you remove this tape, then you can just peel that off and you're not gonna mess with that sore. The other thing is, we fold the flap inward here. So when you're cutting these posts, what I suggest is you go in from the bottom, you go right along, along the zip tie and you just cut along the zip tie up if you need to cut. However, it is easier if you just take the tape and peel it. Just peel it off, it's gonna be a lot easier and you can see a lot more of what you're doing as far as that goes. Are we gonna sit now? Are we gonna sit instead of lay down, huh? Hey, that's okay. All right, so then we're gonna do the same thing with the other post and gonna have a very upset puppy here with us. <laughs> Maybe I'll come this way. Okay. So, again, you're just gonna make sure the bell is pulled open there and you're just gonna push this post into the ear. She's not screaming, this is not hurting her. If anything, it just feels a little itchy. Then you're gonna pull this ear really nice and tight against this post, and you're just gonna stick it on there. And then same thing, just go like this. And then you're gonna do the same thing over here. Again, if you have the tips, and she doesn't have sores on her tips, I'm just showing this for those, and this piece was a little long, but that's okay. For those of you that might, and then you're gonna do the same thing here. Now, if your posts don't, like if your dog doesn't have sores on the tips, I suggest still doing this top piece just because it keeps the ear in even form. I've noticed if you use only two pieces of tape on the ear, you're gonna make weird creases in that fold. And I personally don't like that. If you like it, I guess I go for it, but um, I wouldn't do it. But anyway, we have posted ears and then Depending on the age of your puppy, you bridge or not, but you guys can go back to the original video to see all of that. Only, I should have said this in the beginning, but watch the original video first, <laughs> then watch this one. This is just an update. So anyway, that's all I have. Feel free to ask more questions. The other option here too is these are bandage scissors. So they have a blunt tip on the end so you can't cut skin with them. I don't know if you can see that very clearly, but um, that's what I use to cut the tape because then you don't have to worry about cutting the ear. Yep. So. Always all the advice, always all the findings. Later, guys.